Hello, good morning to you. Welcome. It's me, Andy Talking Really here. And of course, today is uh, probably a slow news day. <laughs> Don't forget, later we've got the uh, live stream, 4 p.m. So please do join me. Um, not sure if you'll see this video before then or not but if you don't then remember we are here every week and uh it's 4 p.m sunday so you can come and join in it's a chat show phone in uh take part in the show so it's not just watch it you can actually take part in it and uh it's here to help you realize that you're not alone and also ask for help or ask for advice we have lots of people who know a lot of stuff now, this story uh, today is in the BBC. I know, well, never mind, can't be helped. But it's a young lady who um, has been forced to use a loan to buy her own wheelchair. Now, what we're referring to is the wheelchair service, which NHS. I um, dabbled with them at one point in the past because... Uh, I was looking for a, um, a way to help me get around. This was before I went down the scooter route. Uh, I had to buy that myself. Because I found out that the wheelchair service was not as good as I thought it would be. Now, I had done some research on it. And uh, the whole point about it is that there is a fund of money they can give you to, towards a wheelchair. So it's a set amount of money. Once you've been assessed for a wheelchair, and then you can spend it on a wheelchair and if you need to put the rest to it to, to make it better or you could just have one of their standard wheelchairs which are pretty dire really to be honest with you a uh, manual wheelchair and also the uh, electric ones that they provide yeah okay well you, if you if you have a wheelchair you'll know exactly what i'm on about uh, if you haven't been able to get one you also know what I'm on about because the criteria is very very narrow and as this girl found out who's Bethany Bethany Hanley she found out the hard way that the service is pretty dire so let's have a look at the actual article itself so the student being 24 years old she's been forced to use her student loan to buy her own wheelchair after being told she did not meet the criteria and bear in mind the criteria is very very narrow she's now campaigning for a wider criteria for people to get publicly funded wheelchairs and more choice the welsh government said its wheelchair services were clinically led <laughs> yeah right <laughs> and they offer a wide range of equipment uh yeah okay Bethany, who's an activist and writer from Monmouth, said she was told she did not meet the narrow eligibility criteria. Uh, she said in order to get one, people had to be able to walk only a few steps or not at all. Whereas she could walk a little bit indoors and needed one outside, which is exactly what I had. So obviously in the house I can walk around outside is where I needed it. Uh, Bethany said that she had been lucky to have the money from her student loan to pay privately. Last year, the, the disability campaigner became a full-time wheelchair user and recently got her first NHS chair. The NHS chairs are fine, but if you really want to be in, in, independent, you ideally need a better chair. There are lighter chairs on the market and that means it's easier to lift into the car to self-propel you don't get as tired or get as much pain. The All Wales Posture and Mobility Service is responsible for the provision of NHS wheelchairs. People's needs are assessed and can be provided with a range of mobility aids, including wheelchairs. Uh, as about 70,000 people use the service and they need equipment ranging from standard wheelchairs to specialised or powered chairs. It's really important to have a, a suitable chair to live every day like normal just to get out and about and do things I want to do. She said that uh, she got the NHS wheelchair she got in 2022, meant she needed help with simple things that she, people take for granted, like going for the toilet independently. At the moment, because my chair is not suitable, I'm not always able to do that. 
Now, her fa family and friends raised 3000 towards a new electric chair. And Tina is paying, this is Tina Evans, who's another uh, wheelchair user, uh, paid an extra 2000 So, the, uh, obviously, this applies to UK, England as well, as Wales. Uh, and, of course, it sort of goes against the idea of a disability model. It's more about uh, trying to change you to fit the environment when actually the barriers are the actual environment that you're in. I put more ramps in. As I say, there is a fund that they offer um, and with a wheelchair service. So the first stage is to contact with them and say you're looking for a wheelchair fund and uh, that's what I did and I was looking specifically to use it to, to get an electric chair uh, which will be uh, foldable and light and um, in the end they obviously because because of my my ability to get around the house they would not consider anything other than a, than a scrappy little um, manual chair which I would then have to put in the car and push myself around with um, and that is the only thing that they would do because obviously to get an electric chair the criteria is you cannot walk anywhere including outside or inside uh, and then of course the chair would have to be used inside the house which at the moment in my house is pretty pretty difficult so yeah it's not a good not a good thing but that's all we've got and I can't see them making it any better myself so let me know what you think down the bottom uh, have you had a wheelchair from, from the wheelchair service what do you think uh, do you think it's any good do you think they could do better um, um also what was the ultimate goal you know were you looking for something like i was and did you actually get it <laughs> right that's it from me have a very good day catch you later